this summer I attended a master teacher trainer workshop at Cornell University where I learned cutting edge developments in biofuels and bioproducts research. And I was taught how I could incorporate this, these ideas into my classroom. I wasn't sure at first how to incorporate the lessons into my classroom since I'm a chemistry and physics teacher. So while I was at the workshop, I made a list of possible areas of science fair research topics. At the start of the school year, I shared what I learned at the topic at the workshop with my students and gave them the list of possible areas of research. And I was thrilled to find out that a third of my advanced students chose to do bio-based science fair projects. In the previous years, I had not had any bio-based topics. Another way Blanchester High School incorporated biofuels and products education right, was to include it in one of the chemistry shows we put on for the school and for a group resources. of fourth grade students. Can anybody think of anything that's non-renewable? Petroleum? Yeah, good job. The FFA is a very successful program at Blanchester High School. In the past, 12 years we've been rated as number one in the nation twice, once in 2004 and then again in 2007. We were able to, in agriculture, to capitalize on um, what was being done in chemistry and physics and um, a lot of our students really gained uh, knowledge and then they were able to apply it into agriculture areas and it really in increased our agricultural science base um, that we are trying to incorporate here at Blanchester High School. Um, this year we were able to um, have students participate in the Ag Science Fair at the state level um, and we had two of our students win in both uh, um, with their biofuels uh, research project in the Ag Science Fair, um, Brian Edgington and Nick Stroud, two of our seniors. Um, up until this point we've not been able to incorporate that type of thing into our program. It's got a lot of energy into our students. They're now seeing what resources they have available um, to reach the potential of, of incorporating that science part into the agricultural education program. Our project was uh, it's called Clinton County Waste Oil, Renewable Fuel for the Future. It's pretty much taking uh, waste oil and turning it into biodiesel and getting a uh, Clinton County audit for how much we could produce here in Clinton County. The last unit in advanced chemistry is organic chemistry. At the end of this unit, I introduced the topic of biobased products and green chemistry. My students did a web search on topics around sustainability and compared new soy products with their petroleum counterparts. They analyzed the differences on the MSDS sheets of the two products and the relative prices of each product and were able to relate that to the topic of green chemistry. Teaming up with uh, the science department, um, teaming up with uh, our science teachers, um, all of our students are in those science classes. Challenge, it has really improved um, our science base and what we're able to do in the agriculture industry. Up until this point, we have not had the students that have really connected. It's been two separate departments. And because of the research that we're doing, and the students are seeing that they can use this as um, ag science and their science, chemistry, physics, and general sciences, we've been able to um, let those students see that there is a need out there, and we've been able to increase our awareness, and they've incorporated that, and I think science has become real for them.